Yeah, I thought it was a very good first game. I thought, you know, I thought the kids on, on both teams competed extremely hard, and I don't think you would expect anything different from a UTEP New Mexico State game. You know, I told Coach Martin after the game, you know, his kids compete to the better end, and uh, I thought it was a great game. And uh, uh, there's a lot of things we need to clean up, you know, after first game, but. As a whole, I thought offensively, defensively, special teams, great team win. Um, we'll learn from our mistakes. We'll go back and watch the film. Probably the thing that stood out to me, you know, in the third quarter, uh, two successive drives on defense, they scored, you know, when we had a chance to put the game away. And then offensively, when we had the chance to put the game away, you know, we had the young back in there and, and he fumbled and, uh, and they picked it up and had a score to actually get back in the game. Um, but those are things you learn from. I think. Uh, we found out a lot about our team. I think we found out a lot about our quarterback. Um, you know, the thing probably that I came out of this game admiring most about Zach Greenlee is his toughness. I mean, he, he tweaked his MCL the first series. Uh, he got uh, dinged his shoulder, popped his shoulder out of place, came back in, and he mangled his finger. And this guy ended up going, you know, three touchdowns, no interceptions. He took a sack. Probably was more his fault on that. Uh, was really good with the run reads and everything. But uh, the thing I was most impressed with is was – Management, uh, you know, we have tons of personnel groupings, um, tons of shifts and motions. He managed all those well and uh, put the team in the right positions in most of his run pass options and, and probably would have had another touchdown, you know, had the route been run properly on one of our uh, run pass options. And he threw a beautiful ball uh, to Cole Freitag, beautiful ball to Warren Reddick's there. I really did a really, really nice job for his first game and only being here for the summer, you know, uh, very impressive. and. Uh, but again, the, my big take on it was his toughness. It was really impressive in my eyes. New coordinators, offensive, defensive coordinators, new systems. Did, how well did you think of the new work? Well, you know, offensively, I think we had over 500 yards. Uh, I think we were very balanced. You know, I think we had close to 300 yards rushing, close to 250 yards passing. Uh, anytime you have over 500 yards, that, that's a good night. I think we left some yards on the field. Uh, you know, we did fumble the ball twice. Unfortunately, one, our guy hustled and got on it one time with uh, Sterling Napier, and the other time, uh, unfortunately, they picked it up and, and, and picked it. Uh, we can't put the ball on the ground. Um, uh, that was disappointing. We'll get back to that. We'll work on ball security extremely hard. Uh, defensively, uh, I thought the coverage was great. Um, you know, we had one mishap in the first half. We gave up a big play. Other than that, I don't recall any big plays. They were 17 of 41 passing from a guy that's really kind of torched us uh, the last two years. And uh, I thought the, uh, the coverage was excellent. The, the hits after coverage were excellent. You know, a lot of uh, uh, completions that were uh, ruled incomplete because of the hits. And uh, I thought there was a lot of great hits. I thought there was good pressure on the quarterback. We really you know, they ain't going to show up in the sack department. But anytime time their quarterback's a leading rusher, that's a good thing. That means he's kind of scrambling for his life. So uh, I thought there was good pressure. Uh, I thought we held the running game in check. Of course, you know they didn't have their best running back. And uh, but you know uh, I felt bad about that. You know that they didn't have him. I told Coach Martin before the game. I think the kid's an excellent running back. But again, uh, you deal the cards you dealt with. We dealt with that last year. So and honestly, I don't feel sorry for anybody that deals with that. You just got to move on. So. Uh, I thought our defense did an outstanding job tonight. They really held them to 16. The other points were given up by an offensive fumble. And, uh, and they got off the field well on third downs. And then offensively, uh, third down conversions were outstanding. Um, you know, I thought the run game, uh, they did a good job. Um, I think they really took away our heavy packages. I think they probably expelled we're, we're going to come out in our heavy packages the entire game. They had a very good plan for that. Uh, they stopped that. But uh, I think uh, all in all, uh, the run game was very efficient. I don't know what Aaron Jones averaged, but it, it had to be close to eight yards of carry. We popped some big runs. I think you saw some of the talents that Quadres widely has. Um, but again, he learned his lesson. You know, he can't put the ball on the ground. Uh, you know, Aaron Jones has been here long enough. He puts the ball on the ground. He's going to get an opportunity. A young man like him needs needs to keep that ball in his hands. But he'll learn that, and he's an outstanding back. And uh, special teams, as I mentioned all camp, I think that was going to be our biggest jump as a team. And uh, I thought in all phases were excellent. The kickers were outstanding. Luna put two inside the 20, uh, was excellent on his punts, handled some snaps. There were various. Uh, Maddox boomed it out of the end zone on, on kickoffs, um, you know, was 100% on his field goals. But the return game, uh, Terry Janil, I'm looking over and this guy's, you know, he's shaking his head. He's irritated with himself. He's getting 20 yard returns. I'm going, hey, you haven't been here the last three years seeing some of the returns <laughs> I've seen. You're doing a good job. Just keep it up. Uh, we didn't get many opportunities in, kick, in the uh, kick returns. I thought their kicker did a great job, like Maddox booming it out of the end zone. I think we had only one return for, 
uh, 26 yards. But the coverage units were good. The return units were good. Very solid on special teams. Kalon Beverly made a like NFL type play on the one punt coverage. Uh, so the coverage units again have, have been very outstanding. Um, all in all, great team win. Um, you know, love playing against New Mexico State. I thought their team competed their hearts out. Uh, they were a little short-handed uh, this year, and uh, but they're they're going to be a good team. You know. And uh, they get that linebacker back, that running back back. I think they'll make noise in their conference big time. And I think Coach Martin's a great coach. That's why we took a kneel at the end of the game. Uh, we certainly weren't going to show any disrespect and try to try to score in a meaning, meaningless situation. So, uh, you know, we have a lot of respect for their program. And, and personally, I got a lot of respect for the rivalry. So. Well, he can catch the ball. Yeah, he can't throw the ball. <laughs> he can't throw it to save his life. So, yeah, there's a negative on Aaron Jones. Play catch with your kids, right? But uh, I blame the Mr. Jones for that one. He must not went out in the backyard and played catch with Aaron and Alvin. Alvin can't throw it either, even though he says he's a quarterback. But uh, unbelievable performance. And uh, he was just so happy to be back out there. And I was just so happy for him, um, you know. And he's built his body up. You know, he was 165, then 185. Now he's a 210-pound kid. And uh, probably 31s, maybe a little bit too many. But uh, – Today was kind of a reward for him. Hey, you've been out a year. He wanted to be in this series. He wanted that ball. Uh, but I think now what you're looking at is we have a capable replacement that can give him some spells in quadres once he learns the value of ball security, which he will. And uh, we got some other capable backs, you know, in Tyrone Nelson and Dub. We didn't see those guys tonight, but they're still in the process of learning. They're very talented too, and I think you'll see them as the season goes on as well. Is that going to be based off just game plan and opponents, or is that going to be wear and tear? A uh, little bit of both. You know, Aaron's always going to get the bulk of the carries, and, and it'll di dictate what we need, you know. Um, but both those guys will get carries. You know, one, one of the young men had some fumble issues this week in practice, which we couldn't tolerate. So, um, and I told him straight out, you're going to get some opportunities, but it ain't going to be this week. Uh, so learn from it and get yourself ready to go. And, and he'll bounce back. And But you'll see those other two cats, and uh, I feel really good about the backs, and even, even some of the other backs, like Desmond, Desmond Davis and Prescott. And, uh, I think we have a very talented group of backs. The second half, they have those two long touchdown drives, but each one you answer. And then when your offense suddenly hit that, gave up the, the six points, and then you know the sack and the penalty, and they had to find your defense and made a stop. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, I, I love coaching this team because they respond daily. And, and you've heard me say it in camp, and I know it sounds repetitive, but some days the offense would kick the crap out of the defense, and bam, the defense would respond. Or the defense would kick the crap out of the offense, and the next day the offense would respond. Or you would challenge them on something like ball security or pressuring the quarterback. They always respond. And it's just a sign of a very mature team. It's a sign of a team that cares about football. And uh, I do. I enjoy going to work every day. I enjoy being around these kids because they compete, they respect the game, and, and they play hard. And, uh, and they play hurt, you know what I mean? And, and they're tough. And, and um, very, very fun to coach. You mentioned the defense, particularly the secondary. Is it improvement in levers from, from outside with, with Kalon? And, and, and does it but allowing them to play fast and having those safety help on the, on the, on over the top, is that a big deal? What you saw the improvement? Yeah, yeah, I mean, because you see, like, take for instance the one uh, Nick Needham missed a tackle. If you're in man coverage and there's nobody over the top, you miss that tackle, it's to the house. Okay, you know what I mean? And, yeah, and then now you got help over the top. So you can play with more confidence. You know, you got a little bit of help over the top. But I think Kalon and Nick Needham are excellent corners. And then uh, both Deshaun Smith and Cockrell, they're great cleanup men. They'll, they'll hit, and they're good in the run game for us. I mean, I, thought, I saw some very pretty vicious hits out there. The ball was dislodged many times from their receivers on very accurate balls from their quarterback. And uh, – so I, I think our secondary is uh, really impressive, and we got some good young guys. You know, you look at, you know, I saw out there, I saw Moss playing, I saw Rogers playing, uh, you know, saw Royal playing, and uh, and we saw some young guys out there. You know, some freshmen out there tonight. Uh, Van Hook was making some plays, Quadres Wadley on offense. So we, we we've got some outstanding freshmen too. So uh, a lot of things to learn from this game, a lot of things to grow from, but very pleased with the the team's performance. Uh, I'm sorry. What's that? How does it feel to start season at home this time around? Oh, and what a great crowd. I don't know what the crowd was, but they were loud. Uh, they were a factor at the end of the game, you know, when, the, when we were on defense, them guys getting signals. Uh, so much fun to play in front of the minor crowd. And to have seven home games this year, it, it's awesome. And, we, and we're going to need them in every single game. We've got some tough opponents coming up. You saw what Louisiana Tech did today. I don't know what Southern Miss. You saw what Army did to Temple, who was a top 25 team last year. They kind of thumped them. So we've got some tough opponents coming. We're going to need the minor fans. And, and 
Uh, to answer your question, uh, I'll have to always get with Dawn on Sunday, but I don't think it's anything to keep anybody out of the next game. Um, and again, all those guys that got hurt in the game all came back. So uh, kind of shows their toughness. What was your first uh, hit, uh, keys back moment with Aaron? Uh, when he caught that first swing pass and, and you know stiff armed a guy, uh, but really, um, Aaron's a, you know such a physical runner. I don't know how many times you've seen him stiff arm and just kind of truck guys. He enjoys that more than popping long runs. That's what I love about the guy. <laughs> he enjoys physicality more than he does just springing it. But that that one run he made in the third quarter where he just he, he was 30 yards ahead of everybody. And then I kind of got on him at the end because he kind of slowed down, cut back. I'm like going, Aaron, trust your speed and just take it to the end zone. He's like, you're right, coach, you know. And it just makes you realize what a coachable kid he is. I was really kind of messing with him. <laughs> you know? I, I really don't coach Aaron Jones that much. It's kind of like hand him the ball and watch him run. Uh, coach, I got injured late. Was the team ahead or behind where you thought they'd be? Uh, first game, two new coordinators on both sides of the ball. And then when you really look at it, a lot of changes on special teams, probably ahead. Uh, but again, we talked about things that we can clean up, uh, fumbles uh, offensively, and then defensively, consecutive drives. You know, we never want to give up consecutive points. But as I also mentioned, they responded uh, both sides of the ball. And I thought tonight, I thought our special teams was outstanding in every phase. And uh, that's an area of ground that I think in Conference USA play is really going to benefit us because we've probably been here and there good on offense, defense, and then special teams great on coverage units, but the return units, um, you know, needed to be picked up. And you take a guy like Terry Janiel, well, it was instantly picked up. I, I think that guy's special, and I think he's going to pop some this year. And the coaches do a great job putting guys in position. I think I think special teams uh, <laughs> really stood out tonight. Aaron standing out on special teams. Yeah, we're going to play our best players on special teams. And, uh, you know, he downed that first punt at the one yard line, two of them. And, uh, I mean, the guy can do it all. And, uh, you know, we're going to continue. You look out there, you see Cockrell, you know, you see Deshaun Smith and uh, Nick Usher. Uh, and these guys want to be on teams. They get mad because I only let the starters play on two teams. They want to play on all four teams, which is kind of like high school. They want to be out there all the time. And, and you got to tell them, no, I'm only going to play you on two teams. Uh, it just shows you how competitive they are. And that's refreshing because a lot of times you get these guys that are superstars. Coach, I ain't playing on teams. I ain't, you know, I never played on teams. And I don't want to play. These guys want to play on teams. They beg and you got to kick them off. You know, no, you're not playing on teams. So it uh, just shows you what type of kids we have. Everybody good?